Good morning, folks. Top story today is a very large earthquake striking off the coast of Alaska. We've also got news on the most energetic cosmic particles and a bit on spraying the sky. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding another quiet day on the Earth-facing disk. No sunspots, no solar flares, no significant CMEs. Possibly the first visibility of the northern coronal hole up there as well, but let's first check geospace where solar wind is beginning to calm. Purple plasma speed on the decline this morning. The eruption that we all saw yesterday here and on SOHO has been fully analyzed by NASA, and the forecast for a 100% miss is confirmed. That blast is heading fully away from our planet. Looking at 211 angstroms reveals the open flux zones of coronal holes, and indeed up north, here comes the IMF already reaching enough into the Earth-facing portion to catch one's seismic attention. The lithosphere couldn't wait long. A large earthquake was initially and erroneously labeled over 8.0, but was subsequently downgraded to 7.9, which matches the raw data. Luckily, it was way out to sea, and the tsunami is only about 12 inches tall, heading for Hawaii, but may dissipate beforehand. Folks, this region is not on our alert map, but why? There were two relevant blot echoes in play, and... This morning, we see a low-pressure cell directly over the earthquake area. Those are the two primary factors for our model indeed, so what happened? Human error. I did not give much weight to the blot events, and the low-pressure cell was not forecasted to sit right there for another day and a half. Two critical facts. First, the 7.9 this morning hit the model perfectly as published. And second, for anyone who cares too much about my personal stats, I failed to follow my own model, and this one is a miss on that realm, just as long as you recognize the pattern that came up once again. Oddly, the most relevant lithospheric event for human life was actually in Japan. A volcano eruption is proven deadly when it triggered an avalanche and falling rocks blasted out of the eruption itself. You might be wondering what people were doing there. The volcano sits above a ski resort and was not on any significant alert. Folks, we have some interesting news on super high-energy neutrinos, cosmic rays, and gamma rays. Turns out that to get that ultra-high energy, they must have come from cosmic jets. Whether it's an active galactic nuclei like this or a smaller jet off a single star, these are what make the most powerful plays in the universe. Lastly, folks, I doubt we have any members of the Geoengineering Fan Club watching today, but in case you'd like a reminder of just a handful of the dangers of spraying the sky, the USA Today has posted a terrific piece that I am hoping gets widely read by the sleeping sheeple such that they may be slightly enlightened. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.